Okay, well, welcome back. Um, I, these paints thickened up a little bit on me and you can't really see that very well. Tilt it up just a tad. There we go. So I'm thinning them down just a little bit with more water. See, that got really thick. <laughs> Don't think I had the, well, I know I left them sit for a little bit with the lids off because I got busy doing other things. But I'm doing something different. Now these all have their silicone in them still. I'm not adding any. Um, and I did not, since I did not pour it into another cup and let it stand, we're going to, it'll still have, they're going to be, the silicone's going to be stirred in there pretty well. But this time, instead of pouring on a wet canvas, I painted this with that indigo blue. And I'm going to reuse a cup that's all dried out. Uh, I'm going to reuse a, a cup that I poured from before. And I'm using titanium white. That cobalt blue. Yeah, it's going to need to be thin too. Um, the cerulean blue. My green gold. And I'm going to use gold but it'll be probably I may pour with some but I'm also going to pull out my little squeeze bottle and add some probably at the end um here we go yeah that's good uh there's the cerulean and then I'm also going to add deep violet I'm not sure how much there is of this yeah I'm going to have to mix up some more real quick um, so, you get to wait with me while I do that. Got to get the right drawer open. Wrong drawer. Violet. This time. <laughs> Gotta pull the gunk off the top so it doesn't, the dry pipe bits to, don't get into my paint. Go ahead and mix me up a batch like I normally do. Keep some on hand. There we go. And my flow trawl. So these were made with flow trawl. And I have done a pouring video um, previous on a previous video. So if you want to see kind of how I mix my paints in more detail, it's um what I did was so that you knew how I figure out with the first time I use a, a color or use a um, paint, how I learn how much to add, how much approximately, the, the ratio that I'm going to use. Um, this is Liquitex Basic. Um, the other three so far have been um, Artist Loft, uh, I'm trying to find a way to show you better, it doesn't show up against my apron very well, but that's exactly where I want it. I'm going to check the green gold. After I wipe this stir, keep getting stuff all over it. The stir off. 
This is a plastic palette knife that um, I got. It's an artist lock, I think, a little pack of them. And I kind of like them for this. It's they. Uh, that needs a little thinning. And this that I'm mixing is the Vallejo Green Gold. Um, or that I'm adding water to is the Vallejo Green Gold. This is a really nice color. Um, especially with the colors I've got going. The only other, other color I need, I'm going to need to check. That's still pretty thick. Is um, my gold. Like I said, do not, if you're going to keep paints, remember to put the lids back on them when you're done. You can always thin them down, but I prefer to put the lids back on them pretty quick. I got sidetracked with stuff yesterday, so. There we go. And then I need to check the gold. The gold is been sitting like I said I keep the gold mixed up all the time Shake my this is my little squeeze bottle of gold kind of washing out got so much light but I can't see it's it's night and, ah, out on the window I have a praying mantis on my sliding glass door yeah it's fine this is well maybe not it's a little sick um But, so, sorry, but I toss up on the lighting because it's washing out, washing out my, washing me out big time. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to set that aside. Like I said, these colors, I think this has silicone in it. Nope, it doesn't because I just mixed it. Ha, ha, ha. See? Um. Where do I, there's my silicone. While I drop the silicone in, I'm going to go turn off a couple lights here. See if that helps. Oops. Try that one. Hey, puppy, you need to move. <laughs> yeah, girl, I know. Mom will be ready to wrap up here in a few minutes. Give you some attention. Eh. I try not to get this thing open too far because I don't really want it coming out and gushes. So then I wipe it off. Okay, gonna stir this in. You can tell when it has silicone, fresh kelp silicone in it. But if we recall, I was getting silicone, or silicone, getting cells without silicone the other day on my previous videos. So we'll see. I'm not, don't get too panicked if I don't have the silicone in it, if I forget. But okay, we're going to use, like I said, we're going to use a, a cup that I've used before. Get another, another layer of paint in there. So when I go to peel it, it'll peel out pretty easy. Then I have a surprise when I get done with the, with the pour for what I'm going to do, else I'm going to do. Yes, there's places in this that is not completely covered, but I'm not worried about that. Like I said, um, I'm going to let, I want this to paint pour over. That's why I'm not worried about the, um, White be my principal color. I won't be pouring any color on here. It's just going to be a pour, and I may leave it as a negative blue space. There went my white, a part of the white. I might have some more made up if I need. And I'm going to put that beautiful turquoise in here. The, or turquoise. It is turquoise, even though it calls it metallic cobalt. And I'm going to put the green. And I'm going to drop it from a pie so that it begins to interchange or in a mix. I'll add the cerulean blue. I'm gonna add some more white. I'm 
and I'm going to add the purple. And if this gets mostly covered, like I said, I'm not going to worry about it. That's fine. Do I have any more white in here? Okay. And we're going to add a little more turquoise back on top. And it's going to be a fill cup. I may not have to worry about anything covering, but I'll have some runoff for, for some, uh, that's what, skins. And there will be a video coming out showing what I, one of the things I like to do or what I'm going, what I've done with the skin that, um, the skin itself looked really neat. So I did something neat with it and we're going to add a little more purple again. There we go. The gold, I will add a little gold. I probably may use all this, um, not all of it. But it's already sinking to the bottom of the cup, or beginning to. So, I'm going to take, uh, okay, this is, are the papers damp? We're gonna do a flip cup up in a corner. Because I will treat it kind of like a flip and drag. Pull some things out of the way off this so that I, later on I don't have to worry about it. I will not need any more paint. That's uh, this, these, yeah, that's for sure. So while I let that drain, um, I do plan to show you guys some more things with. Uh, that you can do with skins, like on paintings, etc. Um, so I don't forget to put the lids on them again. Uh, I've got several ideas I'm going to try, and you guys, you'll get to you'll get to see trials along with me. <laughs> Not that I'm an expert on some of it, but you know what? The fun, some of it is just the fun of trying and experimenting. And some people can give me tips if I'm having troubles. So, okay. Well, we're going to pull this up. One, two, three. Actually, let's get you really close. Let's just see it. There we go. Bringing it back this way some. Look at that. I'm going to tilt. Like I said, tilt it around a little. And I'm not worried about it if the if corners don't get covered. Like I said, with this being painted, painted the dark blue background, or the edges, I should say. Oh man, I likey, likey. I didn't run, I didn't have excessive paint. That's pretty cool. this point that's all I'm gonna do with it maybe bring it back a little bit this way we're gonna leave it just the background like it is I am gonna torch move a jar here My son finds my, he, he, my 20 year old, finds my torch. Interesting. I do want to torch it. See if I get in very many cells. Didn't 
didn't need to, didn't get much, but that's okay. Now, there we go. Look at the bottom of the cup. Mm, you can't see. Oh well, it's pretty down in there. So at some point I'll peel that out. So, what I do going to do with my gold since the gold did not ever appear in the painting, which I figured it wouldn't. It's pretty heavy paint. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. But the thing that I do have that I am going to do some of, I think, is I have some gold leaf, or it's fake gold leaf, but it's gold leaf. And I think I am going to do some of it. Am I? Maybe not. Oh. No, instead, I've got some glitter. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of glitter in a few places. I know. Anne-Marie's rubbed off on me. Let's see, we're gonna put a couple colors. We're gonna just put a little of, each, of some colors in, not a lot. I will do gold leaf, but not on this one. Like I said, I kind of like the effect of the, maybe I will, oh, helps if I open the right side. Um, I like the effect of the, I'm not as wild because it, it hasn't blended in and it's not level, but I think it'll be okay. over there. Yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Can't lay it down with the lid opening that not expected to jump out. But put some over here, just a little bit over here in the this area where there's some green. My dog's trying to tell me I think that she's hungry or thirsty. You know, they sometimes just have a way of telling you that, don't they? Just a little bit of this. It's interesting, if you look, I did not use this shade at all. The purple that I use is the darker, but that's the color that seems to be dominant coming out of there. Turn a little more pink than purple. a little of the turquoise over here in the turquoise section. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Maybe I will bump her. Anne Marie. I'm going to say, Anne Marie, Anne Marie, I tried you and look what I've got it everywhere. I said I'm actually thrilled with what happened here um, as you saw um, I did not add additional silicone I did have um, uh, silicone in it in the paints from before but it's a different effect for me 
I'll be interesting to see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see for me how I feel about the um, paint here where it's dry and where I put the wet on top of the dry to see if it's obvious to me later. But that'll be my a hang up maybe for me. Maybe not. We'll see. It's worth a try, but I'm still, I, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'll just know whether I like it or not, or we'll do it in the future or not. I do really like this. This was a really awesome pour. Love the colors together. Uh, once again, they were Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt, uh, Zinc or Titanium White, Cerulean Blue, Liquitex Basics Deep Purple, Deep Violet, and then also Vallejo's Gold Green. That was it, and a little gold, but as you can tell, there's not much gold in it. I'll take you down, let you see it, just a moment. Okay, there you go. And we'll bring it in a little closer. I'm going to show you, come on, focus. There we go. Don't know if you can see, there's just a little bit, just a little bit of glitter. I didn't put a lot. I may have to put more next time. <laughs> if I don't really like, there you go. You should be able to see some there. And over here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would greatly appreciate you clicking like. And if you would like to see more of my experiments, if you would click subscribe, you'll get to see anything else I put up. And if you click the little bell, you will also get a notification when I've uploaded additional videos. Thank you for watching again and have a great evening until the next time and the next video.